We're back with Richard Southern chatting about some of the day's more interesting stories. And Richard, this first one reminds us of that old cartoon, The Jetsons. <laughs> it's true. Remember, they had the flying cars in the Jetsons back in the 50s. Uh, that was supposed to be the future. We're in that future now. We don't have flying cars. Uh, but wait, they are, in fact, Erica, becoming slowly a reality. This particular flying car has just been given the go-ahead to take to the, the skies. It's been given the go-ahead in, uh, in uh, a, a, a Slovak, the Slovakia, the Slovak Transport Authority, giving it its airworthiness certificate. Uh, this uh, is called the air car, and it turns from a car into a plane in just 15 minutes, can travel at 160 kilometers an hour, fly up to 8,000 feet. Of particular note, it runs on regular old gasoline that you put in your car. Uh, other companies also developing now flying cars like this. Promoters hope they will be a convenient and flexible form of transport. You do need to have your pilot's license, but uh, gotta love, Erica, that this is becoming a, a thing now, especially the way traffic is getting here in Toronto. It would be nice just to fly over. I know. It? Imagine having that uh, when you're just driving down the Gardner or the DVP. But I'm surprised we didn't get here sooner because I think everybody thought by 2022 we'd have that down by now. It's okay. that in the jetpack. I still okay, want my jetpack I was promised, too, Erica. Yes. <laughs> a New Jersey toddler has gone on a shopping spree behind his parents' back. How does that oh, happen, boy. Richard? This is not something you ever want, right? New family, a family in uh, New Jersey just moved into a new house, uh, Erica, the Kumar family. Uh, mom was doing some furniture shopping on her phone. She put the phone down. Her 22-month-old son unbeknownst to mom, picked up the phone. Mom didn't know about anything happening until a few days later when boxes and boxes of furniture started arriving at the house. Uh, the young son, Erica, ended up ordering $1,700 in furniture, mostly accent chairs, according to mom. It was from Walmart and good enough. Walmart said, hey, anything you don't want, uh, we'll refund. The Kumars plan to add passcodes to the phone so the kid doesn't get into any more shopping. He was just trying to help. He was just trying to help mom with the home decor, add a few accent pieces. Yeah, could have been worse. Could have been worse. <laughs> okay, and finally, uh, the show that was about nothing sure seems to mean something to a lot of younger people. Seinfeld, it's been almost 25 years since it went off the air, but it's like more popular than ever now among the younger generation. New data in from Nielsen's found 41% of pe people currently watching the show are 34 years or younger, uh, meaning many of them were, were kids or perhaps not even born when Seinfeld went off the air. Uh, the show also ranks 14th on the list of the most streamed series that were acquired by a streamer in 2021. Uh, Seinfeld added to the Netflix lineup this past October. First, coming in uh, just behind Criminal Minds, Grey's Anatomy, and Gilmore Girls. Uh, so basically, you know, uh, Netflix added Seinfeld and uh, yada, yada, yada. Next thing you know, it's a big hit. Erica's not going to get any of these references. She's not actually a Seinfeld fan. <laughs> I got I'm that reference. I'm afraid to tell you. Good. I'm glad you got that at least, Erica. <laughs> yes. She's too busy watching <laughs> Full House, she tells younger... me, on Netflix. Yeah, I'm currently binge watching Full House. Maybe Seinfeld next. We'll see. All right. Thanks, Richard, as always, and we'll see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow.